Hello everyone and thank you for your time today. I do my best to keep my uploaded videos as short and to the point as possible. There are important aspects of what I need to convey contained only in my video's descriptive text and located just below the video. Please remember to click on the descriptive text show more link and devote the necessary time to read this video's full descriptive text. Thank you. Let's get on with this video. Okay, today um, I'm showing the difference, differences that exist between modified and stock Sony PSX-800 straight-line tracking biotracer turntable platters. So again, these are four uh, Sony PSX-800 platters, all stacked in, array, in an, a vertical array, and all oriented in the same direction. Um, the camera is placed midway down the array to give the fairest representation of the differences involved. Um, you will need to read my uh, video's descriptive text to thoroughly understand what I'm doing here. I don't want to get into all of that uh, and be redundant. Uh, just please read the text. So you, uh, it's, it's absolutely mandatory that you read the text in order to understand what's going on. Uh, I do want to keep my videos as short as possible without being redundant on anything. So anyway, um, what I'll be doing here is uh, showing you the differences in resonance properties between the four platters. Uh, the top platter is an unmodified platter which retains its original soft polymer uh, damping pads. There are three of them on the underside. Uh, the video uh, shows that to some extent. Uh, the second platter is a stock unmodified platter, but um, with the uh, soft polymer damping pads uh, removed. Uh, that may be visible in the video. It looks like it is. The third platter is my modified platter uh, using a constrained layer of construction uh, to improve damping and stiffness. And the fourth platter is a modified platter with the same uh, configuration but with a different adhesive used in the constrained layer center layer. So uh, <clears throat> anyway uh, let's get on with this. Uh, I'm just going to basically show you the, um, how these platters ring when struck with a 3 8 uh, diameter wood dowel and, uh, and a few other uh, tests as well. Here we go. The second platter rings the most, as you would expect, so that's why I'm quelling the, the uh, decay time on that by putting my finger on the edge once again. You may be able to hear that this third platter is really impressively dead. Okay, so you get a nice comparison between the stock platter, the top platter, and the third platter, which is a, a very dead version of, of the. Uh, of the stiffened modified platter that, that I'm working with. Uh, the fourth platter uh, is even stiffer than the third platter. And still fairly well damped compared with the top platter. This, remember, this is the stock platter. This is what most everybody has with their PSX 800s. And this is my um, my fourth version, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, my, my second version of my modified platter. The second one. Sorry, we'll start off with the first one again, the unmodified stock platter.
again. And we'll use a different test stimulus. Okay. <clears throat> There's no point in really demonstrating the second platter because most people are never going to use that configuration. Okay, uh, let me try something different here. I'm going to put, um, ac actually put mats on this. Sorry about that. Okay, redo the test again. This is uh, the stock platter with the uh, three soft polymer damping pads underneath it, uh, all in the original stock configuration. And uh, this is uh, one of my versions of a uh, stiffened and dampened uh, constrained layer uh, modified platter, um, but now with the mat on it. Here we go. Okay, you're probably curious to see what the uh, what the uh, bottom platter will do. So let's go ahead and do that. It's important to make sure to get these mats timed properly on these PSX-800 turntables. Uh, they have little tongue and groove affairs that uh, they have to be positioned properly. And uh, this is uh, the stock platter with the uh, with the um, um, original uh, soft polymer damping pads underneath. And uh, as you can see, this is the fourth uh, platter, the one that was at the bottom, uh, my modified platter. And here we go. Okay, I think that concludes what I want to show you today, and uh, please, again, uh, I hate to be a pain on this, but I need you to read the descriptive text um, before you leave any comments. 
um, there is critical information there that needs to be uh, learned before coming to any conclusions on any of this. All right, I don't know what else to show you. Um, until the next time, uh, good luck and uh, thank you for stopping by me.